there are valuable lessons to be learned here from from the response, but also through to the science and the tsunami generation. We have the same type of earthquakes off the coast of uh, Vancouver Island, Washington, Oregon, and off of Haida Gwaii as well. So we'll be looking at um, data from this earthquake um, that will tell us something about how the seafloor moved and, and how that related to tsunami generation. Uh, so that's important for us um, here in, in Canada. But also um, uh, others will be looking at this, whether you're a tsunami modeler or, um, uh, or an emer involved in emergency management. And, you know, the best way to get the information out to uh, to individuals along the coast. So lots to learn. It's always very valuable. It's also a, an important reminder um, for all of us living living along the West Coast, especially that this is an active earthquake zone. It's an active tsunami zone. It, to be blunt, uh, you know, when I heard about it, it's so far away. It's in Russia. Uh, it's, I mean, it's uh, halfway around the world from where we are. Uh, what are we really going to see in British Columbia? Um, had to overcome that uh, that feeling that maybe people were overreacting a little bit. Uh, and uh, and the other piece of it is, and what was underlined for me in the briefings that I received is just how unpredictable these can be. Uh, that the seismologists and the people who are expert in this area try their best to predict what the impacts will be. Uh, but we could actually see a significant impact here in British Columbia and people need to be prepared. Uh, that's why uh, I rely heavily on people who are expert in this area. Uh, and I uh, was very glad for their advice on it. It was a trial run. Fortunately, we didn't see a huge impact here in BC.